Perched atop an Appalachian peak, Blackthorn Manor's crumbling facade beckoned paranormal investigator Amelia Hartley. Accompanied by her team and armed with advanced detection devices, she entered the desolate village shrouded in an otherworldly stillness. Crossing the mansion's threshold, the atmosphere shifted ominously. Chandeliers swayed, casting eerie shadows as the team explored. In a forgotten library, they uncovered diaries detailing the spiraling madness and spectral events that plagued former inhabitants. Lady Eleanor Blackthorne's apparition materialized, pleading for help. Guided by her, the investigators ventured into hidden chambers, each revealing a vivid scene from the past. Laughter and whispers echoed through the corridors, painting a haunting picture of long-forgotten tragedies. In the grand ballroom, an ancient mirror served as a gateway to the spirit realm. Peering through, they witnessed Lady Eleanor's tragic dance, revealing the true source of the curse, an entity known as the Soul Binder, feeding on lost souls' anguish. Conducting a seance, the investigators faced the Soul Binder in a tense battle. The mansion resonated with desperate cries as the team struggled against the malevolent entity. In a final surge, they banished the Soul Binder, leaving Blackthorn Manor silent. As dawn broke, Lady Eleanor's spirit bid farewell and the investigators descended. Yet a chilling wind carried echoes of her laughter. A reminder that, in the paranormal world, some echoes of the past linger like shadows cast by an eternal moon. Months passed, and the investigators, having left Blackthorn Manor behind, remained haunted by their spectral encounters. Amelia, now grappling with a newfound understanding of the thin veil between the living and the dead, poured over the collected data and recordings from that fateful investigation. Late one night, Amelia received an anonymous package. Inside, she found a mysterious artifact, a tarnished locket bearing Lady Eleanor's crest. As she held it, a chilling wind whispered through her room, carrying with it the distant echoes of the past. The spectral laughter intensified, intertwining with the creaks of her floorboards. Compelled by an unseen force, Amelia embarked on a solitary journey back to Blackthorn Manor. The mist clung to the desolate village, and the mansion stood silent, as if holding its breath. Guided by the locket, Amelia revisited the hidden chambers and forgotten corridors, each step rekindling the spectral echoes. In the grand ballroom, the ancient mirror beckoned once more. This time, it reflected not only the haunted history, but also the spectral presence of Lady Eleanor. She appeared, not in sorrow, but in gratitude, as if the locket had bridged the gap between worlds. Amelia, now a conduit between the living and the dead, realized that some mysteries were meant to endure. The spectral laughter faded, leaving Blackthorn Manor in a solemn peace. As she descended from the craggy peak, the mist lifted, revealing a now hallowed estate, forever marked by the echoes of the past.